did you ever have an experience where you encountered the same entity twice or the same energy or something along those lines? Yeah. The, the machine elves are the only ones. Um, I, so I, I think I'd seen them once when I'd taken um, LSD with a couple of my friends. And this is like back when I was just kind of in that recreational stage where I didn't know what the fuck I was doing with my life take some LSD, just kind of um, chill out and have some fun. And this acid was just way stronger than any other acid I'd had before. And all of a sudden, you know, my friends are trying to shut me up because I'm talking about these like beings who are controlling us, our human bodies as puppets and all sorts of like random crazy shit. And, um, and then after that night, I just kind of forgot about the experience entirely. And I was like, okay, um, don't know what that was about. That was some um, pretty intense acid. And um, I think, uh, probably a year went by until I kind of, I think I mixed LSD and shrooms. And um, then I was having the very first time I did it, I was getting in contact with these, the same experience. It wasn't an entity encounter at this point. It was just like, I'm seeing this thing and I don't know what it is, but there's some, it's like, have you guys seen the adjustment brew? No, I haven't. Uh, no, I don't think I have. What's, what okay, is that? It's like this movie where basically um, there are these guys who I can't really remember, but um, w there's like this big story that's going on and they, these guys just pause the story and they go through and they like change some things. Like they'll move a person's arm mm, and okay. they'll walk out of the scene and they'll click play. I kept getting like glimpses at like this, this place. And I was like, I don't, I don't know what this is. Um, and then finally I did like three tabs of acid and um, that's, <laughs> you know, I started – Right. It was a very intense one. I started running through the streets naked and <laughs> Jesus. Like, yeah, the I was, I was, yeah. <laughs> it was crazy because all of a sudden I just started, I was in this place that I'd seen little glimpses of before. And I was like, I, I was running to all my neighbors and I wasn't talking to my neighbors anymore. I was talking to this, this thing that was like behind the mask of my neighbor and they were all coming, like all my neighbors in, in uh, real life were coming up to like calm me down. They're like, Jack, like, like, are you okay, man? And I thought they were all coming up to congratulate me. Like, uh, congratulations, you're, you're seeing us now for the first time. Welcome. Yeah. <laughs> like I was on a whole different place. And, um, and then, yeah, what happened is that night, actually, I was listening to voices in my head, basically, that were saying, um, explaining what was going on and they said to me that once you go back inside you're going to have a powerful near-death experience um or they just said you're going to go inside and you're going to have an ego death and turn into white light and um they're very specific on that very specific and i was like okay this sounds kind of scary and they're like it's okay relax you'll be fine but it's going to be very intense it'll be the most intense thing you've ever gone through before and um i kind of I was just a bit too scared and I didn't go back inside. And so what happened is a neighbor called an ambulance. They picked me up and I went to hospital and that was the end. I never turned into white light or anything that night. But then two weeks later, I took DMT inside my room. And then I had, I saw the voices that had been talking to me. I saw them embodied in a form, the machine elves. And um, then they took me to the white light, had that white light experience. And funnily enough, as the white light experience was finishing, um, I actually remember like coming to into my body and I thought I was running through the streets naked again. Like I was looking around and I was naked and I was like, Oh fuck. Like somehow during this DMT trip, I've stripped down and, and done the, the same thing again. Um, but then I realized that I was still, I was actually in a memory of the, um, of the LSD trip. And as soon as I realized that the whole environment uh, crumbled and shifted and, and all of a sudden I was in another memory and it just kind of, kind of kept, jumping memories until i was back in into the sober reality um and you know it was fucked like each memory was just as real as the next and just as real as right now so that definitely challenged my notions of what right now is but um yeah it was pretty cool there was like some weird interface between time happening during the lsd and the dmt experience like it took me to a place that does not exist in linear time it was like this outside area. Like if, if you imagine the time difference, the time reality difference between an audience and the movie they're watching, like the movie has a linear time, but the mm -hmm. audience can click pause. They can click rewind. Yep. And um, yeah, it was like I was entering the audience's reality and then back into the movie reality, which is right now.